And in this particular time, has this program of a doctor who's called uh, doctor, the, the pain doctor or whatever. So the program is the doctor visit, visit, visit some celebrities and he has a, a, point, a, a point pressure on the foot he presses and he claims nobody can resist a uh, few seconds on the plane and nobody ever will pass 30 seconds. And he's assured anyone will quit. And the, the program asked me if I could go and do this test, if I could resist or not, just for the sake of, of see how much I can handle. And they will offer me some money, which at the time was very needed. So for the money, let's do the fun. And I was there in the hotel, the doctor there, doctor is short guy with very thick arms, short fingers, but very strong hands. And, uh, and the producer explained to me, Mr. Gracie, this is called, if you accept the challenge, uh, the, you guys are going to go in a dispute if you quit or if he make you quit. So he's going to press for 30 seconds. If you pass 30 seconds, you win. If you quit before 30 seconds, he win. And, uh, and I felt like it was a very, I mean, I expect painful things and I felt like in order for me to get into that kind of perfect mode, I start to see him and feel the, the elements of a fighting because my, my mindset for a fight is I'm not going to quit no matter what. And if you get me in a foot lock, you're going to take my foot, break my leg and I will still limping to try to do something. If my brother throws the towel, it's good. If he don't throw the towel, I will be there. He broke me my other leg, he break my arm, and I'm gonna be alive until he, he kill me because I'm not gonna quit. That was my mindset prior for any fighter I have to engage with. So with this in mind, as he approaching to grab my foot, I was looking to him and visualizing him against me in a, in a match. So, I put exactly myself in a match circumstances against this doctor. So as he approached and grabbed my foot, I was looking at him and said, you may gonna get a foot lock, but you're gonna take my leg home. I'm not gonna quit, I'm not gonna quit, I'm not gonna quit. I started thinking about putting my mindset, coping with that kind of aggressive situation he's about to do on me. So when the guy called the time and start to chron uh, chronomet the time, with. 30 seconds, I was already in the mode with, you're not gonna make me quit, take it home. Son of a bitch. And, and he just squeezed, 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 and I just look in his eye and try to eat his, his brain. And uh, eventually the 30 seconds gone, I was never doubt about pain. I never even felt the pain, to be honest. I was feeling the focus of resisting, was overwhelming the pain. And then the guy quit, I mean, not quit, he stops. And he said he was impressed, he never saw something like that. I was the only one who could resist him. And I felt like, that's ah, so be it, because I'm the only one who's undefeated here and you're not gonna be you gonna take my foot. So I was making a joke in my mind to coping with his idea. And was that, you know, after the, when I left the hotel to go, I could not even put my foot on the floor, so sore was. The soreness disappeared like after like a couple of hours, but it was very sore my foot when I, when I left the, the hotel. And it uh, was a tough experience, but again, confirmed my mindset was stronger than my, 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 my pain or my emotions. So I was able to control myself and it was a good done deal. It's together. Not here. It's the pressure is here. Exactly. Let's keep training hard, guys and girls. Thank you.